12 ball that's on the cushion or the table. Like that. Mm -hmm. Watch it. Hold on. Eight ball right in the middle of the table. Three balls over against the rail. Not quite against the rail. Efren Reyes, among the best. Go straight across the table for the three up. Oh, great shot. The two goes back in the corner. I don't know if I had the six to make the one ball. I don't think so. He's got a bank shot. He's banking the two ball. You have to buy your shed name. Who got lucky is going to win this? how difficult this game is to me, or I think you'd see much, much larger purses in the uh, sport than what we've seen so far. Ooh. Damn! That's the whole side, the world championship belongs to him. Yeah. What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. Well, I know. Finish now. <laughs> Magandang araw po mga kabilista Isa na naman pang naro na Efren Battle Reyes ang ating mapapanood ngayon The 1995 World 8 World Championship Final Race 8 Prize 50 Shout out po sa ating uh, mga masusugid na viewers Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat Sa mga gusto magpa shout out Comment down lang po below Para sa susunod nating uh, upload Maraming salamat po uh, Time to meet the two contestants for the 1995 World Eight Ball Championship. First of all, from the Philippines, perhaps one of the finest pool players in the world, a man who's ranked number one in this tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, a nice warm round of applause for Efren Reyes, accompanied by Gracie and Amy from the Riviera Hit Show Lakai. Efren Reyes. Ladies and gentlemen, the other contestant for World 8 Ball Championship honors is a man who's undefeated in the tournament so far, has battled his way into the finals. His hometown, Beloit, Wisconsin, living in Chicago. A nice warm reception, if you will, for Jeff Carter. <laughs> Jeff Carter is accompanied into the um, room by Heidi and Michelle, two of the beautiful showgirls from Riviera's hit show, Crazy Girls. Jeff Carter, Heidi and Michelle. The rules that govern this uh, contest as they battle for the 1995 World 8 Ball Championship. Pro Express rules, race to eight, first man to get eight games or frames wins it. 45 seconds to get your shot off. The winner goes on to break. Two different balls may be used on the break, and the breaker has the choice. No push-outs, and eight ball is not neutral. Eight ball on the break automatically wins that frame. You must call the pocket to win, and pocketing the eight ball, fouled on all balls. The ball in hand goes to the other shooter. The referee has the final decision, of course. Three successive fouls means you've lost the game, and one timeout per rack for each player. All right, and now the two uh, finalists at the uh, table for the lag to see who gets the opportunity for the first break. That's Reyes on the left of your screen and Carter on the right. And walks away as if to say Reyes is going to break first, but is he? I don't know. That's awfully close. It's got to the break the to... lag is Mr. Carter. It's going to be Carter. We will start. Yeah, Jeff Carter he, has he said he's broke 48 times we, we saw him in the size and he made the eight ball twice unprecedented gonna get nothing. oh I thought he had a striper headed for the side pocket well the table's wide open yep <laughs> he has choice he's got a problem ball with the five and nine that's the only problem on the table He'll look to break that cluster open first. When he made the eight ball on two breaks, 
in the semifinal win. He won eight to four. He's going for the strength. See right here, he needs to break these balls out as soon as he can. He tried to do it right there, but uh, no success. He could possibly do it right here, Jimmy, if he uh, cuts the 14 down in the corner pocket, bring a cue ball across, and perhaps hit him. But then again, he could be forced to uh, not have a shot after that. Yeah, that's the problem, Jim. Uh, see if he brings the cluster up with that particular ball. There's no ball around it. Carter, key shot to get after the cluster up. He'd like to leave the 14 there and break the cluster up with another ball. So, so, 45 seconds, he's taking a timeout. Each player allowed one timeout per game to contemplate strategy and uh, obviously they are just playing this shot but they're two or three ahead the prize money breakdown first prize is worth fifteen thousand dollars second seventy five hundred so the worst either one of these two men will get tonight is seventy five hundred third and fourth places fifty two hundred each third and sixth and then twenty nine hundred the balance of the prize money well, made that easily nice position <laughs> The Actually, nine ball is going to be a problem up there in the yeah. corner with the five, huh? Well, the right way to break this shot is off the 12 ball on the cushion there, because if you come across the table, no matter where you hit them balls, you're still going to have a shot on the 14 ball. I think he's going to play position on the 12 ball here. Try to get in the middle of the table. Well, a little bit too hard. He can't make the 12 from there, but he's got the 14. <laughs> You know, Jeff Carter, he started playing pool when he was 14. He's looking at the bank shot. His parents gave him a fiberglass cue ordered out of an ecological marvel now. It is, when he tells you about it, it's uh, as pure as the driven snow. Well, he hit that nine ball at least out where he'd have a chance at it later, didn't he? Yeah. He had he went, to do something. He went for the bank on there and, uh, well, he missed it. Now we see Efren Reyes considered among the best in the world. 8-7 semifinal win over Mark Jarvis. And what a thrilling semifinal encounter that was. He's walked into a nice table here for his opening shot. The balls are loosened up. He's probably going to play for the five ball as his next shot up in the corner. Yep, roll the cue ball down, straight in on the five in the corner. And as great as player as, as uh, Efren Reyes is, you'd have to consider him very fortunate, right, Jimmy, to be playing in the finals tonight because that match belonged to Mark Jarvis a number of times. Yeah. Well, that's for sure. I mean, he really didn't play up to his... You know, just for a bit of luck, Jarvis will be playing for that. He didn't play up to his... He made some great shots, though. Yes, I'll tell did. you what, he went out for swinging. Yes, he did. <laughs> yeah. All guns blazing. And what a great attitude he had after the semifinal competition, even in defeat. Stuff stroke here. He's just going to draw the cue ball straight back. Playing the seven ball down the bottom pocket. Oop, he didn't draw it as far as he would have liked to. Of course, he put the four. Cut it down the corner, does he? Well, that's the seven. He's Excuse gonna, me, seven. He's going to cut it down the corner pocket and just run into the 12 ball that's on the cushion or the 10 ball. Like that. Mm -hmm. Watch it. Well done. Now the eight ball in the corner to uh, win the first game. And that's that, unless he stretches. Yep. So, all right. So Reyes taking advantage of an opportunity. You know, Hannah Everton Reyes, rock one. We're going to put that as a rock two. He hit them solid. He hit the front ball, trying to pocket the ball rather than the eight ball. I think he made a strike ball. Yeah. Something he didn't do a lot of in his semifinal win over Jarvis, 8-7. He didn't make many balls on break. Carter, on the other hand, made the eight ball twice in his semifinal win on the break. No better way to win. Nope. You know, he shot that ball left-handed. Well, Why would he shoot the ball left-handed? Oh, because of the because ball. he's able to. Huh? No, no, because of the balls. It's fall on all balls, and the, he didn't want to touch the nine or the one. Isn't it nice to have that kind of talent, huh? She.
Interesting guy, Reyes. Story has it he came from the native uh, his native Philippines as Carlos Morales. Excuse me, Caesar. Caesar. Caesar Morales. Caesar Morales. Why he changed his name, I don't know. Maybe there's a uh, a passport story in there or not, but he came over and just destroyed most of the good American players, was winning everything, and finally somebody said there is no such guy. Hmm? I was there. You I were one of the guys? Uh, no, I didn't play in the tournament. Oh. I was there and I saw it. And uh, he did away with all of America's best. Well, he's out here, I think. He's got perfect angle on a 13 ball. In the middle of the table. Mm -hmm. So it would appear that he's um, on his way to a two lead. He's drawn. He's going straight into the nine ball. Let himself an angle on the nine to go two cushions for the eight ball in the side pocket. And shoot this ball like this, come two cushions back out there. No, wrong again. Well, he still has got the other pocket on the other side. He calls it for the side pocket across the table. Oops. So he knocks it in. Nine up with Efren and uh, Two zero score. I don't think he made a ball, did he? Nope. Well, it may not be much, but it is Carter's opportunity. How does the table shape up, gentlemen? Well, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I mean, he's got a, a tough shot to start with. I think he can cut the 12 ball over in the bottom left-hand corner. Play the stripes, does he? Yes. He's only got one shot here. I mean, he's going to make this ball over in this corner pocket. I don't see no other kind of shot unless he wants to shoot something long up to here. But most guys like to start out with the easiest shot and then get themselves in position. Carter's a very accomplished player, but he's in against a guy that's doing a tournament. And I would think psychologically, uh, Jimmy, that uh, he, he knows he can't make a mistake if this guy's going to take the game away. Well, he mentioned earlier, he said, you know, the main thing is I just hope I play well. I've been playing well all week. And I'm not going to feel bad if I lose as long as I play a good match. Mm -hmm. And then that's a good attitude. And he cut that ball in nicely. How about position, Jim Remy? Well, he's got a, a difficult shot on the nine ball. He has to cut it back in the corner pocket. Uh, he can cut this ball here into this corner pocket. It looks like his only shot. I don't think he'd want to knock the 10 ball on the side. It looks too tough. You know, his he, folks used to give him this ball for the 10. Yeah. He might be banking this ball. His folks used to give him money to go get haircuts and game. groceries and clothes and this and that. Jeff spent it all in the pool room. <laughs> So I don't know how long he's been wearing that pair of pants or how long he's had that haircut there, but all his cash went in the pool room. Is he the original results of a misspent youth? Is that the guy they coined that phrase about? I thought it was me. Well, here he is in the World Championships. Nothing wrong with that. No. He's banking his boy. Oh, a rim rattler. Oh, what a tough phrase. What a break. Hit too hard, was it? No, he just missed it. Bank shots are different on all tables. You know, any pool room or any bar table or anything, all balls bank differently. You got to get used to the table to understand the, the banks and have the feel of it. So here's Reyes back at work now, leading two games to none. Go for the solids. He's going to try to break that six and two up on the cushion. He might do it right now. He can cut the five in the side pocket, let the cue ball come right down here and break these two balls up right on this shot. Well, he put the seven ball right out in the open a moment ago with a very nice line of the cue ball. There you are. And out for the two ball. That was an excellent shot. Got a nice bounce off the rail, too, didn't he? What a nice soft touch. Seems to do everything just good enough to win. The magician. You know how wavy his stroke is. You know how wavy his stroke is. Has a completely different style than the Americans. But uh, one can't argue with it, Tom. He gets the job done. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yet he has been beaten. He's had some disappointing moments in top tournaments, but he's on a roll. He's won two out of the last three he's been in. This got away from him. That is not the best position, is it? 
Not at all. No. Well, the only thing he can do here, he, he's got a shot on the three ball, but it's tough to get position on the one ball. He can shoot the three ball here, but he's going to let the cue ball run down this way some way, it looks to me, and come back up this way like that. The green. Now he's drawing the cue ball. He's hit the cue ball low. Doesn't matter. Well, look at this shot. How about that? Between the balls and out for the one ball. Great shot. Mm -hmm. And the crowd, knowledgeable, of course. They're all outstanding pool players, billiard players, looking to appreciate the talent of this man, Efren Reyes. He continues to roll along. What makes him such a difficult player to, to beat is he's also a world-class three-cushion billiard player. And that really comes in handy in a game of pocket billiards. He's ball in the corner to win it. And just that easily, he has taken a big 3-0 advantage over Jeff Carter in the race to eight. To win this At uh, 3 0 na pong score. Well, he got a break when Reyes rap four na pa, rap four na po tayo mga kabilarista at uh, Efren Reyes pa rin ang break may pumasok na bola Jeff thinks it's his shot oops he wishes it was his shot <laughs> that too <laughs> right now my prediction not looking too well I predicted Carter would uh, be double tough tonight and beat Efren Reyes he's uh, trailing three nothing Tom we got a long way to go though it's not yes, over with no things have drastically turned around from time to time in this game the two champions sitting with me know that full well but I tell you Reyes is just uh, not making any mistakes these two balls down here or the trouble balls this rack because there's no key ball to get down to them. By winning the first three games, that takes a tremendous amount of pressure off of Efren. Uh, Tom, it's always nice to jump out into the lead. Yeah. Now uh, Carter, on the other hand, he'll be you know begins to wonder when he will win a game and take that edge off himself. If he falls behind four five nothing. He's in serious trouble. He's coming down for the two balls right now. Cue ball got away from him. Mm. Bad shot. No kind of shot right now. Well, everybody likes every, somebody likes every shot in this game. In this case, I guess uh, Carter's sitting over there thinking, get ready and do something when you get this chance. Just gonna play a little safety here. Good shot. Uh -huh. That's a good shot. Unless he can see this ball here. Carter's got to make some shots and get some confidence back and get himself back into looks, this game. Looks like playing the 11 ball in the side pocket. Small hole there, isn't there? Mm. Is there one there? Good boy. Perfect. My goodness. Perfect. Well, he um, had his nerves under control with that one, didn't he, huh? Really? I, I didn't think he had much room. Yeah, but a half a pocket there. Yeah. Well, like I said before, I like the way Jeffrey takes these balls off the tables, and he's got good knowledge about the game. He's a guy that keeps himself well conditioned. You know, he eats the right food, he gets the right sleep, he practices hard every day, he takes the game very, very seriously. Desperately needs to win this game. Trail three nothing. He's gonna break out the eight ball on the shot here. Put it into a position where he can get at it later on. Whoops. He's looking right now. When he shoots the 10 ball in the corner pocket, he's looking where he's going to hit the 8. Mm -hmm. You know, to make sure, like, he glances maybe off here and then bumps the 6 and then have a shot in the 15 ball. I guess he wants it right in the middle of the table, doesn't he? Right right around where the 8 and the 6 are right uh -huh. now. Uh-huh. See, nice and soft. <clears throat> All right. Now he's got the ball in the corner down here. Well, it looks like he's straight and in. What? He's straight in. Straight he'll, in. He'll probably draw the cue ball back to the cushion where, it, where it's at there. In other words, shoot the 13 in here, draw the cue ball back here for the 15 in the side pocket. I think he's going to follow this and then play the 15 in the side. But he is following it. Yeah, he's hitting the cue ball high. 
Mm-hmm. Just as my experts predicted. Will he put it in the side pocket or take it up into the end? He shoots it in the corner. He, he disturbs. Just wants to slow pinch this ball with a low stroke. Hit the cue ball very low and hit it soft. Does he have a chance in the side? No, I don't think no? so. All right. So he he rolled it. He oh. rolled it. Oh, oh, oh. Sign and chance there. Gift Carter. Evan well, Reyes. I think if you shot that shot with low English, like low left hand English, Jim, to spin that ball in and keep the ball right around there, I think he would have been better off than rolling it. When you roll a ball like that, you take your life in your hands, they say. You don't know what's going to happen. So Reyes now looking to make it a 4 0. What will he do with this one? He didn't. He's, <laughs> he's come up very short on this shot. Now he has a bit of a problem. Here's what he does extremely well, though. I mean, he can hit this ball with low right, like and really spin this ball in, kill the ball. That's what he's doing, I think. Killing the ball. He does that better than anybody. He's, he's good. Perfect position. And the eight ball down in the corner. And that'll make it 4-0 for Reyes. So Carter's had some opportunities. 4-0 na score. At uh, rock 5 na po tayo. Efren pa rin ang mag-break. Ay pumasok na bola. I believe he's got the solids. Now in that last players compared to the American players, I think the American players would have rifled the 5 in with a lot more speed and took the chances with where the cue ball lays. But Efren has that delicate stroke. And he does it so, so, so well. So difficult, could, difficult shot yeah, that was. Couldn't argue with that. I mean, the skill of a surgeon and laid the cue ball just dead in line with the eight ball and made it a relatively easy shot to the corner. Four nothing. Well, gentlemen, um, he's going to have to make a mistake, and Carter's going to have to get up off the electric chair over there. And he's playing the conviction here. Yeah. He's not going to get up and go anywhere until Efren misses. Unless maybe he throws a tomato at Efren or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> the Philippine players as a group, I would say the best players in the world today, invaded the United States 10 years ago, Tom. And it's not just the great Efren Reyes. They have many, many great players. I've yet to see a weak player come from the Philippines. One begins to wonder how many champions do they have over there? No matter what name they come over here under. Huh? Oh. <laughs> well, a break for Carter. And Reyes is the first one to admit that he didn't make a very good shot. He must clear this table, otherwise we could be looking at a blowout tonight. Well, this is a nice opportunity to step into. I mean, the balls are really wide open this time. Well, let's watch Carter and hope that he can get off the schneid. He's training four games to none. First man eight wins it, and that would be the 1995 World Eight Ball Championship. We're here at the Riviera Hotel and Casino. Jim Mataya, Jim Rempe, both world champions. And yours truly, Tom Kelly. There's so many ways for him to clear these balls off the table right now. Eleven ball next, do you think? Yeah, I think he's going to just shoot this ball, the 12 ball, and draw the cue ball back oh, up to the 14, yes. get rid of the 14 next. Mm -hmm. You always want to get the ball's rail off the table as quick as you can. Those can be a problem, not because it's only the difficulty of making them, but trying to control your cue ball it's very difficult when you shoot balls down the rail mm -hmm. so always clear the, the balls off the rail so he's going with possible. 14 up in the other corner up there is that exactly right? yeah 13 will be next all right and then he's got the other two set up right down there as well doesn't he yeah everything's in play right now and the eight ball dead in the middle and near the Side pocket there. Carter trying to get right up off the floor back into this match. Not easy. Reyes gave him an opportunity. That's nice. That's nice. There's a look around the 
room here, I don't see nothing but champions. We've got Mike LeBon, Kim Davenport, Johnny Archer, Nick Varner. We've even got a blast from the past. <laughs> Bill Staten, Weenie <laughs> Beanie, the man that I uh, defeated for the world title back in 1972. He's over there in the front row. <laughs> you must have been just a child prodigy in 72, Matthias. <laughs> well, here he is. All right. Carter gets a nice warm round of applause. A missed attempt on a free ball by Reyes. This is one of the greatest games that God ever created. The game of four one nine score at the Sarak six Napotayo. Give Carter break. On one of these things, all you got to do is put a new cloth on it every once in a while, and that's not very often either. And it's designed for kids, for women, for older people, younger people. It doesn't matter. Anybody can have fun with this game. That's what makes it such a great game. Any size, no strength needed. Just, uh, just enjoy the game. Well, Carter yeah. couldn't get a ball to fall. And that's not really bad when you take a look at uh, a couple of the balls that are locked up, the five and the nine. The Going for the solids, uh, Reyes. Just, huh? just the five and the nine, here, Jim. That's the only problem. Well, he had a 310 there that he broke out just now. He must get to the five ball as soon as possible, Tom. Otherwise, uh, well, how can he get it? The nine ball's right on top of it, is it not? He can still get at that? He's got to figure out a way here to pocket the ball, get that cue ball down to that end of the table, break those up. The only ball I see that he can get down the table to break the five ball up with is the, is the one ball. See, I think that's what he's going for right now. Play position right in above here with the one ball. No, he's going to shoot the two ball first for the four, the four ball. And then he'll put the one ball in the side pocket and let the two yeah, balls come down and in the corner, right? Huh? Yeah, because it's a natural angle coming off the one uh -huh. into the five. Uh -huh. Gonna draw this back a little bit to get that's beautiful, isn't it? Huh? Yeah, he's gonna break it up right now. Well he could even make it, couldn't he? Well, I don't think he can make the five. You don't think he'd be no he wouldn't come off that one ball again? No. See, he's looking no. at the two ball. He could have a position on the two ball in the side pocket next to him. Made the five, but he got that busted up. He get the five in the corner pocket. Yeah, he's playing perfect here. Yeah. yeah, five in the corner, two in the side. Eight ball right in the middle of the table. Three balls over against the rail. Not quite against the rail. Efren Reyes, among the best. He's going straight across the table for the three up the corner. Great shot. The two goes back in the corner. The two ball passes in this corner pocket for his next shot. This is textbook stuff this guy's showing us today. Yeah, that was a great shot he made there. As far as I'm concerned, this guy is up with uh, the greatest players of all time that uh, we've ever had. Guys like Moscone, Luther Lassiter, Joe Balsas, Irving Crane, Ralph Greenleaf. I mean, you can go on and on and on. Those are the players from yesterday, not to mention the players from today. This guy is as good as anybody I've ever seen. Hey, Jimmy? Oh, it's unbelievable. It's all the age. Not just straight for one particular game. He plays them all. Billiards, like yes. Willie Hoppy used to play a lot of billiards and played it great, but Willie Hoppy never played that pool. Eight ball in the corner, says Reyes, and it is indeed. Big sapat ang mga kalamangan na Efren. 5-1 ang score. So, tatlo na lang. Kailangan ni Magician. Rock 7, Efren Reyes on break. Experts, Tim Mataya, and Rumbi both agree this guy's as good as this game has seen. In what era you're talking about, he doesn't make many mistakes, and if you make one, you end up paying for it. What an accomplished player. One of his <clears throat> greatest assets, really, is his concentration. You know, you, a lot of times when he's not practicing pool, you'll see him playing chess in games like that. He loves games of concentration, and that helps tremendously in a game of pool. Well, when he came in with those two beautiful showgirls, concentration drifted away tremendously. It certainly didn't affect him <laughs> in his game. I've had a tough time concentrating on anything, but but he uh, it didn't bother him at all. Now there's Lisa Kay. That is Leonard Bloodworth's daughter. Leonard Bloodworth, one of the premier cue makers from Lake Texas, and is our equipment coordinator as well. Five games to one. Reyes has the advantage here. First man to get to eight claims the title. Carter sits and watches as you and I do. Shooting that one left-handed. Uh, they say if this was a fight, they'd stop it. Yep. It'd be like a mugging, wouldn't it? Yeah. 
And of course, hope springs eternal for Carter, and uh, anything can happen. As long as Reyes doesn't have eight games so far, like Carter is still alive, but he's gasping in the corner. Eight ball. He's getting in his groove. Six one now, Reyes. Crowd really appreciating the fine talent. Six one ang score mga kabilarista na sarak eight na po tayo. Hindi na po mapigilan tong si Efren Bata Reyes mga kabilarista. Kalagang dalawa na lang para makuha ang kampiyonato. The 11 ball he's playing. He's getting a rhythm now. All that green doesn't phase him at all. Of course, I wouldn't, shouldn't imagine that a wood is good as he can play. This rack is over, Ed. This rack is over. He's going to shoot the 14 ball, corner pocket, come back here for the 15 ball next. Shoot the 15 in the side, play for this ball next. And ball down here, what is that, the 10 ball? Is that his um, out okay. ball, you said? But well, he can no. use either one of those balls that are down there. The 10 or the 9? Yeah. He's got the 8 ball. Down toward that end of the table. The shot after this next one here will be the nine ball. No, it could be the ten too. He can play for the ten. He can play for either ball here. Can we talk a moment about the frustration that Carter must be feeling, gentlemen? Well, he, he can't really feel frustrated right now. I mean, that's been the Efren Reyes show from the beginning. Frustration sets in when you have opportunities to win games, such as Mark Jarvis had in the semifinal match and didn't get the job done. Efren Reyes is very fortunate to be playing for the world championship tonight. It should have been Mark Jarvis. That's when frustration sets in. But when you sit in a chair and you're not shooting and the guy's just running max on you, you don't have anything to feel bad about. You just have to sit back and marvel at it all. And wasn't that easy time? Nasa hill na po si Efren Batara, yes. Nasa rock nine na po tayo. Grabe. Jarvis could have won it and didn't. Well, here's his chance. Well, a slim one to be sure, but he's still alive, but he's got a lot of, a lot of making up to do and the crowd trying to urge him on. Cheering him as he comes up and Carter looking over the table. Carter's not the type of guy to give up. And just because the game is uh, seven to one, not in his favor, he's not gonna give up. He's gonna try to make it all he can win every game he possibly can. The only problem like is shooting tonight. he needs seven in a row. That's the problem. Yeah. from AMF. Also Miyuchi, I mean, they're one of the biggest supporters of the Pro Tour, and he makes a great cue stick. Well, he's made a stripe ball. He's got different ways to go here. The balls are really open. I mean, he can shoot mm -hmm. this ball this way in this corner pocket, or this way, make this ball. He selected the first shot, playing position on the third, the 11 ball. Remember, you have it too, have you, as a player? No, I won the first term of the year this year, the Players' Championships in Philadelphia. God, so, forgive me for not knowing that. I'm how could sorry. you not know that? Congratulations. Belated congratulations to you, Jim. Anyway, he's going to try to get rid of the 10 ball, or not the 10 ball, the 12 ball next. I tell you, every tournament I've been to lately, just as a spectator, it seems to be lately, uh, Jimmy, it's all the Filipinos, uh, you know, first, second, third, or fourth. They're going to force me to come out of retirement. I can't stand it. i got to do something to help my country here. <laughs> Patriotic Mattia comes back. Well, they're tough. No question about that. gentleman to play with too I tell you you never hear him moan and groan about how a guy got lucky to beat them or this and that like you hear a lot of that around our games oh and, yeah and this and that oh that lucky stiff yeah. you never hear a peep out of these guys they just get up and do their thing and if they win they win if they lose they lose they always shake your hand they're fun guys to be around with gentlemen well Carter's got a pretty good chance here to get game number two 
He can draw the cue ball up on this one, bump the three, or just stay right there and cut the 12 in. And straight across the table for the eight in the same pocket, it looks like to me. Uh, he got there. Mm, yeah. Both ball in the corner. They're trying to climb back into this. He trails 7-1. 7-2 now. And the crowd gives him a very warm reception for that victory. Nadagdagan na po ni Jeff Carter. Ano, 7-2 na po ang score. At uh, limang rack pa rin ang uh, kailangan niyang habulin para kay uh, Efren Bato Reyes. So, uh, wala pong pumasok sa gate ng Chief Carter, Efren Reyes. Balik sa table. Shooting, not watching. No easy shot to start with. Going for the strength. Looks like a strike. He's going to play the 12 ball in the corner pocket. You know, Jimmy Efren's playing so well, I think he might want to prolong this match. In other words, if he wins this game, he doesn't want the title. He wants to play all night, this guy. He's playing so good. They love to play. Well, he's got your patriotic ire fired up. You may just go down there, grab a stick and... Hmm? Yeah. Well, he's played no. position on the well, <laughs> variety of balls here. I mean, he's going to shoot the 14 in the side pocket. Looking to get the to the cluster where the 12 ball is. He has seven games. Needs what claim the 1995 World Eight Ball Championship. He has played magnificent pool. Unbelievable good stuff. Look out. Just living on the edge. Yeah. He played position on the 15 ball. I don't know if he'll still shoot it or not. Uh, the 11 ball's hanging. He can make that at any time. Oh. Well, he's human. That's the... Um one of the few shots the man has mixed has not played well. I don't know if the position of the cue ball was a little disruptive or what. Well, I tell you, he wouldn't have had a shot anyway if he'd have made that ball. He broke the ball out that he wanted to get broke out, but he wouldn't have had a shot after that anyhow, so he would well, have Carter's got all these solids all lined up and ready to go. Does he not? No, they're all lined up perfect here. Yeah. Could be a nice big turnaround for him. Let me see if I can set this pattern. Ball in the corner, three ball in the side, come up here for the one ball, up for these two balls, back to the five in the side, and down the corner for the eight. That's it. Scott, go out and rack them. We got that one figured out. This one's put it in Carter's column. No, he went up table right away. Ooh, one's going to take the one ball now on the side. No? Well, what they do don't think? like the idea of leaving this three ball here. A bad spot, though. I mean, it'd be... He's going the one ball. Now he's got the two and the four up there. Is that correct? Up in the corner? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he ought to be able to take uh, both of those. And then the five. Well, it's the four, two, three, and then the five. Okay. Looks to me like he'll come underneath the five ball and get position on the ball. Over to get a little powder. Or he might just shoot the five in the side next. He's trailing seven games to two. He has a lot of making up to do. He can't afford to make a mistake. And this is a big opportunity for him to win the third game, to narrow the gap a bit. Five. Will he shoot the five in the corner or down in the other looks, side? Looks like the side pocket. The side. And then the three in the corner down here, Jim. Three in the corner, just draw the cue ball with low English side cushion for the eight in the top of the corner. Mm -hmm. All right, beautifully done by Carter. Now he's got to put the eight ball in the hole down in the corner pocket, top of the table. That's where he's called it. This would get him back into this match a bit. Trying to win his third game. Ball by ball, rack by rack. That's how you have to play this game. I guess. I guess. He's done it. So that's game number three. Seven to three now. He's still alive.
7-3 ng score at uh, nasa rock 11 na po tayo hindi pa po tapos ang laban mga kabilyalista still alive I think he made a solid didn't he I think so uh, I can't see the whole table yeah right here he's gonna have a little bit of a problem with opening these balls up he's got the stripes well he's got the stripes all right which is the best balls to have here. And this it really is right because here. this ball passes to this pocket here and the rest of them are opened up. Just making this ball in the corner pocket is a key shot. Will he uh, clean up that whole end of the table if he uh, yes. gets things going his way? Nine ball and the rest of them? You know, if he runs off this rack, he's going to get his momentum all back again and uh, he can string some racks together. Oh. Oh. How do you miss a shot like that? Well, the difficulty of that shot was his cue ball was so close to the rail that he had to force him to, you know, jack up the butt of his stick. And that made the shot a little bit difficult. He should have should have made the shot, but uh, pool is a difficult game. Even though these guys make it look easy, I can assure you that, that it's a very difficult game. Anytime you got a club in your hand, and you're going into another ball and putting it into a pocket and at the same time putting all kinds of left-hand English, right-hand English, top English, draw English, massing the cue ball, everything. It's just very difficult. I have no idea what he's going to do right now. Uh, it looks to me like the six does not pass to this corner pocket. I don't There's think no room for the side, side pocket. either, can he? No. I don't know if I had the six to make the one ball. I don't think so. He's got a bank shot. He's banking the two ball. Well, he did, and he opened things up for himself now, didn't he? What a great shot. The only shot he had, and he hit it with great expertise. He'll break up the cluster here, the 3-7. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just nudged him, just perfect. Got the six ball right down here in the uh -huh. corner. It's still not an easy rack, though. No way from winning the eighth game and the 1995 World Eight Ball Championship. Efren Reyes. I don't think the corporate sponsors from around the world uh, really understand how difficult this game is to me. Or I think you'd see much, much larger purses in this sport than what we've seen so far. Ooh. I think that whole come and almost scratched it, but didn't. I tell you, the man doesn't make many mistakes. I mean, when I see money and things like that going into pro beach volleyball, hey, buddy, <laughs> give me a break. <laughs> Get a life, will you? I don't know what happened on that shot. He let the, you weren't watching that shot. But he doesn't like it either. I'm still watching the showgirls. The heck the, with that shot. Look at the grin on his face. <laughs> he didn't do what he wanted to do, and that's about the only emotion you see. That's the it's, only time you'll ever yeah, see him smile. Kind of acknowledgement that you're right. I, well, I he's, goofed he's, it up. He's going to try to bank the four ball. Looks to me he's like banking the four ball. Well, he banked the two a while it, or no, he's six, six, six in. The six in the corner. Did it get he there? He didn't have enough, enough speed. Mm. Well, look what happened. He tied up the 14. Yep. <laughs> hey, he doesn't give you much. Even if he gives you a break, he doesn't give you much. I was going to say, if the guys around the country looking around, see a guy in the neighborhood pool hall who says his name is Cesar Morales, <laughs> don't unbuckle. Yeah, beware. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't unbuckle. Well, what kind of a chance has Carter got to him, guys? Well, he's got another chance, that's for sure. As long as you get back up to the table, everything's all right. I'll tell you something, Tom. If he can win this frame, he can make a match out of this. Sure can. 7 4. Let's see what happens here. He's got to break this ball out. Can he do shot. it when he makes this one on the corner down there? Well, can yeah, it, it all depends if he has a little bit of an angle. I can't tell from this position. But if he's got an angle. 
You can just bump the eight ball. Just let the cue ball float over, look high, force follow. And just bump the eight ball. Well, it's obvious that every shot is extremely important to Carter. Or he can just, sorry. No, go ahead. Or he can just kiss the 11 ball off the 14. I was going to say, they try a kiss shot here off the 14. Come on. But there's no position there. He's taking a move. He's still undecided about that. But that looks to me, Jimmy, like uh, the shot to go for here. I mean, if he can't break him out with the angle he's got. So uh, what good is a pocket this ball? He's only got one more ball. Well, he's got a couple down table. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know. He has a shot here to play this, kiss it off the 14. Maybe he's going to try that. But he's worried about position in the next ball. Yeah, he's playing the kiss shot. Good shot. But where's the position? Well, he doesn't have it, but he's got that ball, if he can make the next shot, in a position to make it now back in the corner. Right, this is the shot right At here. At least right he's here. got it away from the, uh, the eight ball. We've got a chance to make it. He's got a chance with the shot. Yeah. Four and a half by nine foot table is about 15 by three. That's the shot he must make. Missed it. You knew it the minute he hit it, too, didn't you? you yeah, well, I had the right line here. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't uh, that easy of an out. I mean, he's got the, the six ball. He has to roll the cue ball down. He really can't spin it or do anything with it. He had it nice and soft. Like Got to try to make it in the side pocket. That's about all you can do with a shot. Tom. Eight ball is just sitting there waiting for him, too, if he does. If he can make this ball in the side, the world championship belongs to him. Yeah. performance by a magnificent pool player. And apparently there's no game with that stick of those balls that he can play. There he is, the 1995 World Eight Ball Champion, Efren Reyes. Considered among the best in the world, and he certainly was every bit as good as the great tournament life. Jeff Carter played well. si po talaga pero sa ating bata maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood mga kabalyanista sa mga hindi pa po nakakasubscribe please subscribe na po at uh, para sa mga susunod nating uh, uh, upload pindutin nyo lang po ang uh, notification bell at kung pwede po pakishare po ang video na to at mag like na rin po kayo at uh, maraming salamat po mga kabalyanista and God bless po sa inyong lahat